con job of the day, we've got the Republican flip-flops over the debt. The Republican leadership's evolving position on the debt ceiling can give you whiplash. Remember, if we don't raise it, the government will be forced into default. Nonetheless, Boehner and McConnell and the rest say that they won't vote to raise it unless they get more spending cuts. We've got to take meaningful steps uh, towards solving our long-term uh, debt problem uh, if, in fact, we're going to find the votes to increase the debt ceiling. There is bipartisan opposition in the Senate to raising the debt ceiling unless we do something significant about the debt. Now, that was now, but Boehner and McConnell weren't so concerned about the debt limit when we had a Republican sitting in the Oval Office. As Travis Waldron of Think Progress points out, the current GOP leadership voted to raise the debt ceiling every single time during the Bush years. In 2002, Boehner and McConnell voted for a $450 billion increase in the debt limit. The next year, they approved a $900 billion increase, a vote that came the same week that President Bush approved tax cuts that cost $350 billion, so they didn't mind borrowing from China when it was to pay the rich, of course. In 2004, they voted to raise the limit by another $800 billion. In 2006, it was $781 billion. In 2007, it was another $850 billion. All told, under Bush, Boehner and McConnell voted five times to increase the debt ceiling by a total of $4 trillion. They raised it five times for a total of $4 trillion. That's a lot of money. And now they're concerned about raising the debt ceiling? Obviously, they had no qualms whatsoever about increasing it when it was a Republican in the White House. But the leaders aren't the only ones in the Republican Party to make a complete and comical reversal on the debt limit issue. Here's Indiana Congressman Mike Pence earlier this week. I will not support an increase in the debt ceiling uh, without real and meaningful changes in spending in the short term and in the long term. But here's Pence on the absolute necessity of raising the debt ceiling back in 2002. I came here believing as so many people I represent believe that if you owe debts, pay debts. I love the flip-flops, and right now Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley thinks the debt ceiling is a great bargaining chip. We've got tremendous leverage on not increasing the debt uh, to get a lot of other things done that we want done. But in 2006, he said lawmakers shouldn't try to score political points about the debt limit. And so I would hope that we would not have an extended debate and a lot of breast beating, uh, breast beating about uh, the issue of increasing the national debt. Now, there'll be a lot of debate about it, a lot of political points trying to be made. Uh, but the point is, uh, we got to keep the business of government going. That's why this ought to pass unanimously. <laughs> unanimously back when there's a Republican president, right? But now all of a sudden, oh, we can't do it. Raising the debt ceiling was an absolute necessity, it turns out, that you couldn't play politics with during the Bush era. But now that we have a Democratic president, the debt ceiling presents a perfect opportunity to play politics. Just when you thought these guys couldn't get any more hypocritical, they outdo themselves every day. I'm very impressed. And their outrageous hypocrisy on the debt ceiling is our... Con job of the day.